Hello, beautiful souls, it's like his soul is knocking at your door saying here I am I'm another potential option for you. Even though I know it's been possibly a long time since we've really fully connected in the physical world, with the relationships card, I feel that the masculine here sees himself as having had a lot of bad luck in romantic relationships specifically, and that still applies even if this masculine has connected with other feminine energies. Since the two of you connected divine, feminine in the physical, I feel that they see themselves as for some reason. I'm hearing perpetually single they may be someone who dates casually but really struggles to develop a deeper bond I'm hearing their friends and family even know that the reason this is happening is because of you divine feminine and when I say because of you I mean because even their friends and family are aware that the way they felt and still feel for you is so rare and so unique it's almost made it impossible for them to fully connect with anyone else. In fact, I have to say this is so specific, but for someone listening, we have the denial. Card reversed, almost like a masculine. Here was in denial about this, and I feel very strongly someone close to them has actually told them, hey, the reason you've not been able to date or connect with other feminine energies is because you are still in love with divine feminine. Now, of course, I would say insert your name there because they wouldn't actually use the term divine feminine, of course, but I feel as though this masculine has been in denial about their feelings for you possibly for months, years, maybe even decades, and someone close to them, someone they really trust, has pointed out to them this truth. They've said everything always points back to her to divine feminine you are, not going to be able to forget this person, and if you don't take some kind of action towards her, if you don't tell her how you've been feeling all this time, you are going to regret it. That is what this person has been saying to this particular masculine. And again, I rarely channel something this specific, but I'm telling you this is a very specific message for someone listening. This person is no longer in denial about you because of what this person close to them has pointed out to them because it's been pointed out in hearing it's been revealed to them either in a dream by someone around them, it's been revealed to them in a conscious way that you are their person I'm here in the universe God, whatever they connect with, spiritually as their higher power has revealed to them in a conscious way that you are the one they are meant to be with that you are their person, and that if they don't take action towards you, with the it's time to take action card, the new mood in Aries they are going to, regret it something is really pushing them into action for some reason I keep hearing hearing something about a phone. Call from divine muscular type yes, if you believe my beloved love, so for some of you this masculine could come in, wanting to talk on the phone with you, wanting to catch up or have some kind of conversation, but I feel the true meaning and purpose the secret meaning of wanting to have this conversation is, they actually want to reveal to you what's been revealed to them this thing that's been illuminated within them, which is really how they've always been. Feeling about you, this has the feeling, once again of a masculine who's been in, Denial for a long time who's now had it revealed to them, I saw the number 1717, 17, that they are never going to be able to forget you or let you go, and that's really pushing them into their king of wands energy, this leadership energy. I'm also getting the sense that the masculine is coming out of some kind of haze or fog here karmically there's been some type of karmic situation around them that has caused them to be in this. Denial for some of these masculines, I'm getting this actually could be a social environment, so this could be a friend group, this could be a co-working environment at work or a college environment, there's something here that's almost been clouding their judgment for a while or clouding their perception, and I feel almost as though they were around certain people who did not have their best interest in heart and who were very unlike them at a soul. 
level who didn't really understand them. At a so level, and I feel they're almost returning back to their roots here, returning back to their core, I keep. Seeing someone who may have lost touch with their childhood friends, people who really got them at a soul level, whether it was family friends, people from childhood they connected with or fell into a group of friends, a corporate environment, a social environment that was very different from who they really were at a soul level, and now there's almost the energy of them coming back around again to those roots to who they really are now take this as it connects. It's a very strange, unique, and specific energy coming through this reading, but what just keeps grabbing my attention from the cards is that early card I pulled that I know I messed up everything card because I feel that's the dominant thing on this masculine. Mind the sense that they have made some type of mistake here perhaps even early on a long time ago in your connection that they thought they'd be able to move beyond or to move past, but they're still living with that regret. I'm hearing the regret of letting you walk away or letting you go or not standing by you when you really needed them. I'm feeling some sense of betrayal here that may have happened a long time ago with this person. So I'm sensing that you divine feminine at a soul level at a really deep, raw emotional level may have felt betrayed by this masculine in a time of need and get.